guys and welcome to the Did You Matoli podcast. I thought I'd do a little little film video of it. I don't actually have a studio to record in, so I just record it in my car. Smelly Ellie has heard it all, been through it all, seen it all. This car holds a lot of history. I've got my MacBook here. I record it on GarageBand for anyone wondering. And then I have like a loose script on here for notes on my iPad. So let's just get on with it. Right. There's a car revving right next to me. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the Dream with Tony podcast, guys. I'm Tony and I'm your host here. Up in here. Up in here. So, I am, um, just for anyone who's new or anyone who's not listened in a while, I mean, we're back to it. It's been a while since I've recorded a podcast. I'm very sorry. I was busy. I'm going to explain myself. Don't you worry. I'm going to paint the picture, tell the story, tell the tale, and then we'll get in with the podcast episode. However, if you are new, a little bit about me is I am a content creator from East Kilbride in Scotland. I'm 21 years old and if you didn't already know, I do create content such as vlogs, chats, de-influencing, talking about positivity, TED talks, mental health and I literally just vlog myself a life and chat a lot of random stuff because I just love to yap. I'm a yapologist and that's just, that should honestly be my middle name like Tony Yapologist McDermott. Uh, but anyway, so I hope you're all doing amazing. Life recently for me has been very, very good. It's been like way up. It's been full of highs. It has also been full of some lows, like low moments. I think that is just normal life and we forget about them because social media paints a picture of a perfect highlight reel of a life. And that is just not reality. It is not real life. And nobody has the perfect life 24 seven. Not even celebrities. I can assure you of that right now because we're all human and we're really just living life for what it is to be honest so let me think i've got so many updates for you i'm in every city here there and everywhere don't know what's come over me um i've got actually i've got a lot to tell you so, oh my god so let's just get started i've also got youtube here um and youtube i've also got the podcast here obviously <laughs> but we're trying something new we're basically getting video content and podcast audio so we're gonna see how that goes but anyways so some updates for you where do i even begin um, well, we'll start with travelling. I've been in my travelling era, guys. I'm in a new city all the time and I'm loving for it. I'm loving road tripping. I'm loving getting the train and just kicking about. Like, I was in Manchester. So, if you do watch me on TikTok and YouTube, I did vlog it. But I was in Manchester, kicking about. I went to a BBC Kids Book event just to do my nosy, see what was up, see what's what. Met some friends. Um... And I tried Blank Street down there. I did, I did get the iced blueberry matcha that's viral. And I will say, it actually does live up to the hype. I didn't think it would, but it did. Um, so I did that. What else did I do? Let me think. Mm. Oh, I seen the big Vimto thing. Apparently they've got this Vimto monument. So cool. So I did go to that. I kind of just, yeah. Just living life, vlogging, loving life to be honest with you. It was great and then I had to go out for meals myself which really like pushed myself out of my comfort zone, trying new food, foods, which also made me think like isn't it crazy how life can progress because food used to be something that I was so scared of which is so sad to admit and so sad to like talk about but as a teenager it's something that I think a lot of girls do go through at one point, it just depends on their severity level of it. Um, but yeah, like now I'm like completely fine and it's just, it's such a blessing every time I, I just reflect and I'm like, wow, like teenage me would look at me and think, oh my God, like she's really doing it. She's really got this together. Um, at least we're trying. Um, another update, I went to Dublin, tried Guinness, which is kind of two updates in one. So I did go to Dublin. If you don't know, I went to Belfast in March, February, February, and I loved it. So I went to Dublin, lovely accents. Honestly, <laughs> the Irish accent, just talk to me all day, guys, if you're Irish. I love it. Uh, so I did do that, went with some amazing people. We explored, saw the portal, went to Trinity College, which is where normal people was filmed. I've not seen it, but heard a lot about it. Went there and I tried Guinness. So, this leads me on to my next update. I did try a little bit of alcohol. Right, if you know, I am the biggest hype girl for sober nights out. 100%, still am, will still do it. Sober nights out for the win. I have just as much fun without any alcohol, without any drink, and I think it's something that should be normalised and should be encouraged a lot more. 
like going out and not needing drink is something that should be normalized i genuinely do believe alcohol can be so scary like the effects it can have on people it's terrifying and to see it happen to people like the state some people can get into is so scary however i am in a little bit of an era i'm 21 and you know me and my sister were going out and we were like going to do cocktails or mocktails whatever and i was like do you know what if uh, i'm just gonna have a wee cocktail so i did and i was just like you know what why not like why not just try it like i'm not gonna get steaming that is never gonna be a goal never gonna be something that i experience i hope um but i did get a little bit tipsy so the first night i went out i know guys there's been more than one there's been several the first night i went out and had a drink i vlogged and it was actually so funny but i tried a strawberry daiquiri chef's kiss tried uh what else did i try that night um i did do a shot can't remember what the shot was i had some vbls <laughs> um i tried another cocktail oh a candy floss martini and the candy floss melted into the drink it was so cool and then the other night i went out i got an espresso martini which is like a coffee cocktail it was so good and i had i had a shot another shot I had some vodka, soda and lime. And what else did I try that night? Um, oh, a raspberry daiquiri. Delicious. So yeah, and I, I could feel it. I could actually feel it. Like I felt it a lot more that night. I was like, whoa, like this feels a bit strange. And I did have a bit of a panic because I have the fear of not being in control, I think. And I did feel a bit dizzy and I was like, whoa, like what's going on here? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I will definitely say like, Mm. alcohol is not everything it's cracked up to be didn't think it would be and i just wanted to try it i'm in like my 20 21 i'm in an era where i'm just living life tried it will say it was all right it was fun i can see why people enjoy it but do i have just as much fun so far 100 percent. so that's just some wee updates what else have i got an update on oh new book is coming out soon stay tuned that's another update i have been dancing and prancing went to some open classes who is she i went to a commercial class there's a new studio in glasgow opened up and it's an la style based studio and it's called slay house glasgow i think that's what it's called i went to an open class i'm going to so many more oh my god it was insane and then i also went to a heels class which i mean come on heels tony Tony dancing in heels. It wasn't um, PG, but it was like super fun. And you know what? Pretended I was in a music video. I was living the dream. So fun, so hot, so fun. It was great. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I hope you're doing amazing. If you have any updates, DM me. Let me know, because I know a lot of people are finishing exams or leaving school, got proms, all that kind of stuff. Tell me the goss, send me a wee message. I love hearing it. And you are all my besties. We're an online community up in here. We love that so just let me know um but yeah that is my updates i can't think if i've got anything else i probably do but at this moment i think that's enough i'll save it for the next episode because i'm going to record a few before we do get started i just want to give you a wee reminder that everything's going to be okay every storm's going to pass however you're feeling whatever you're experiencing whatever era of life you're in it's going to pass you got this you're doing amazing and i'm proud of you and i believe in you Mwah. air hugs Anyways, today's podcast episode is for anyone who kind of just needs a little like boost or a little like, I don't know, just a heart to heart in your feels. Today's podcast episode is listen when you feel like life is a lot. When life feels like a lot, basically. So when you feel like life is life and listen to this, watch this, whichever, <laughs> whichever floats your boat. So where do I even begin? I don't know, but I'm going to start by sending you an air hug because I feel like we all just need a bit of human connection sometimes and although we are all glued to our phones and we're never really alone we can feel so lonely and feeling lonely is something that you might not even admit that you feel you might not even realize that that's what you're feeling because you can be surrounded by so many people all the time and still be lonely and still feel lonely and it's normal and it's a human thing and it's okay so I am sending you an air hug from me to you we're all sending your air hugs, everyone who's listening, which is crazy to think like there could be someone else listening to this right now at the same time as you. I think we both need it. I'm not going to lie, right? I kind of need an air hug too. Given the title, I want you to know that how you're feeling is going to pass. 
I pinky promise, pinky pinky promise it is going to pass. It always has and it always will and you've always figured it out. You've come this far and you didn't come this far just to come this far, okay? Life's a journey and it can feel amazing one second and then it can feel horrendous the next but you'll get over it no matter what and it's just something that you just get through. I don't know why you've clicked on this episode. I don't know why life maybe feels like a lot. It could be for many reasons to be honest with you. Maybe it's been a bad day, bad week, bad month, bad year. Maybe you're feeling a bit lost or you're just confused in life or you're looking for answers to something. Maybe something's happened to you. Maybe you're having a bit of a bad time at the moment. Maybe you've got a lot on your plate and you're constantly just struggling to juggle it all because you've took too much on or you genuinely just have no way around it. Like you genuinely just do have a lot on right now. And I know I can't fix it, but I want to just be a little like, a little like heart to heart, you know? Like I just want to help you feel a little bit less alone. Maybe feel a bit more motivated, a bit more validated and just know that you're going to be okay basically. So, first of all, keep going. We're all rooting for you. We're all besties. It's a community and you're gonna, you, you got this. There's no doubts about it. You have got this. Whatever it is, whatever life throws at you, you can get through it because you are tough, you are strong, you are amazing, you are blessed and you know what? Laugh it off. One thing that I will say, right, life can feel really daunting and I think it happens a lot around change. Or when things get really like a lot of pressure and a lot of new things come up and maybe there's a lot of new people a lot of new beginnings a lot of endings i genuinely don't cope well with endings i think i get attached to things i get attached to experiences i just get attached in general i get attached right it's a toxic trait of mine although maybe a red flag but i say i don't really have red flags i have fun facts fun facts but if you know what i mean I do get attached to things, I get easily obsessed <laughs> and when things end I feel like everything else crumbles. Like for me I'm either really really high or really, really low or things are going really really well or they're going really really bad. Sometimes it will be in the middle but to me I catastrophize things so that it could be literally something simple like not even that bad has happened and I'll be like oh my god the world has ended or something really small could happen that's like really good and I'll be like oh my god I have struck gold here it's really funny and I genuinely think it's like it's a good thing and it's a bad thing it can be a blessing in disguise to be honest with you it's why is someone beeping I don't know but they're disturbing the whatever it may be I think you guys might relate because I feel like we're all kind of the same people we all share a brain low-key and if this is the case that you're just struggling to cope with something or it just feels overwhelming I don't know sometimes you just get this feeling and you can't shake it and you don't know how to shake it well this is what I'm here to talk about so I want to tell you some things to remember when life feels like a lot or life feels deep and hard and it's a struggle and it's just not you're not slaying you're not in your good era at the moment so things to remember Number one is be where your feet are. And what I mean by that is get off your phone. Don't think about the future. Don't think about the past. Don't think about anything, right? Don't think about the things you have to do. Don't anything like that. Just take a moment where be where your feet are and literally think about it right now. Like put pressure on your feet. Focus on what you feel, what you smell, what you see, everything like that, right? Where you are is the present, you cannot control the uncontrollables and I think this is where the anxiety and stuff can come in as well and life feels like a lot because you're trying to control things that you can't control. You're trying to like think about what could happen, what could have been, what should have been, what could be and you forget to be exactly where your feet are. So get out of your head, be present and just open your eyes. You'll see that there's so many things out there that you have closed off or that you've not recognised and just trust and don't worry because you can't control it anyway, so don't try to. Another thing to remember is you have to lose yourself to find yourself, truly believe it, hand on heart, you do, you have to lose yourself to find yourself. And I'm gonna talk from like personal experience. So like this time last year, I had just left uni and I was honestly clueless, like I was lost. You couldn't have told me anything. Like I left without an actual concrete plan. I was like, I'm just gonna work right now. And like my little part-time job at the time was at the works, so that's where I was working. And I, you know, I was loving, I was loving life, like I was happy, but I was also very confused. Like 
all my family were like, so what's your plan? And I was like, do you know what? I actually don't know. But look at me a year on. My life has taken an absolute turn. And not to like took my own harm, but I'm very proud of myself and I'm proud of you. And I'm so blessed to have you guys along on this journey with me because you've been there since day one, some of you. And when I left uni, I had a panic. It was the best thing for me. I didn't doubt it. I don't regret it. But I remember just thinking, well, what am I going to do? I didn't have a plan, but I just knew that I had to feel lost because I knew I was going to find myself. Because if you lose yourself, you get to re refind yourself, you get to re-establish, re-character. And do you know what, see in this life, you can evolve as many times as you want. You can level up as many times as you want because own lane, own race, own pace. There's no rules. And I never believed this as a planner from age 14 that you have to lose yourself to find yourself. You heard everyone saying it, it's an Eminem song and everyone always says it oh like you feel so lost and you have to lose yourself to find yourself you're gonna lose yourself so many times in life so many times in life you're not just gonna lose yourself once it will happen again and again and i am not looking forward to the time that it happens again but i know it's gonna happen and you just have to ride it out but i think we all try to plan life i had a plan very to the point did it go to plan no no it didn't and you know what i'm glad it didn't because there is blessings and the stressings and I just, yeah, like rejection is redirection in every sense and what's for you will not go by you. I think it's exciting and normal to lose yourself and if you change your perspective, it's all about perspective guys, if you change your perspective, you will realise that actually it's true. It is true. There's a lot of good things to come from losing yourself. You, you have more of an open mind, I think. The next thing is, putting a plate down is not a bad thing. I want to remind you of that. So if you feel like you have too much on, you've took too much on, maybe you genuinely just have no way around it. Like you do just have too much on. It is more than okay to prioritise things and say, right, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Or it's not for me right now. I'm really sorry. Like that is fine. That is more than okay. It's also good to put plates down. You don't need to pick them up back up, but you can, of course. But it's not a bad thing to... It doesn't mean you failed. It doesn't mean that you are a failure. It doesn't mean you've let anyone down. You just simply have to be a little bit selfish sometimes. And sometimes you just need to admit, like, it's so easy to be like, no, I'm okay. I can power through it. Or your ego is like, um, you can do this. But it's more than okay to actually accept that you cannot do everything. <laughs> it, is, it is impossible to do everything. And I think, especially as an overachiever, you might relate. I constantly want to do everything. Like, if I have an idea, I'm like, right need to do it, need to do it now, need to get it all done and I don't need any help, I can do this. But then you burn yourself out, which isn't good. So it's okay to put some plates down. You can pick them back up 100% but don't overstress yourself when you don't need to. And finally, direction over speed. So what I mean by this is, right, you're going to see a lot of people, meet a lot of people doing things your age that you do not feel ready for or you're like, oh my god, should I be doing that? Because, for example, there are people my age having kids, moving out, graduating, starting careers, getting big breaks, like getting married, moving out, all this kind of stuff. And I look at that and I just think, well, first of all, I think, how? Second of all, I do just think, I am not ready for that, right? I'm quite a young-minded 21-year-old and I think that's more than okay. I am just living life for the now and whatever happens happens one day i would love to get engaged one day i would love to get married have kids move out all that stuff it's like it's in it's in the vision but right now no and i think comparison can make you feel like you need to rush or comparison can make you feel like you need to keep up you do not age is just a number it's not a milestone age doesn't matter and what other people are doing in life also doesn't correspond with what you should be doing with life i think we get so caught up in a wee bubble and we see social media and it paints this picture but in reality, everyone has such different lives and you don't realise it until you talk to a wide range of people who have different life timelines. Or even just thinking about yourself, like live life for you according to you and what feels right for you. Don't live through other people, don't live for other people and don't compare your lifeline or anything to anyone else and don't let feelings, you know, get in the way because... You don't need to do things because other people are doing it. That is not a way to live life. Your What will happen will happen in divine timing. Trust the timing of your life and what's for you won't go by you. And you could 
you could do something you could also be doing things that they've not done like these people who are doing all the big things that society paints as amazing like getting married buying a house and stuff that's amazing it is amazing like i'm so proud of everyone who's doing it i love seeing it but at the same time just please remember that it, you could be doing things that are amazing that they've not done do you know what i mean like it's just life is unique everyone's timelines are different and we're all doing life for the first time there's no right or wrong way to do life there's no right or wrong way to live there's no right ages for things just trust just ride out the wave of life because life's to be enjoyed life's to be lived it's a journey slow down you're not getting any younger so don't stress gal anyway but don't stress for me was like you're not getting any younger enjoy the moment enjoy where you're at enjoy the craziness enjoy the moment where you're waiting enjoy the waiting time enjoy it all because if you don't enjoy it what is the point in life right deep as it sounds but it's true okay guys that is me done recording so i'll do like my little my little my little bit. i'll do my little outro and that'll be that right you ready anyways thank you so much for joining this podcast episode i hope it helped in one way i hope it brought comfort i hope it maybe gave you a wee bit of word of wisdom at the end of the day i am just wee tony for ek like what have i actually got to say i don't know but if it helps anyone then my job here is done and i absolutely love chatting to you i love our community and i'm so glad to have the podcast back up and running again i don't know if you're listening or if you're watching whatever where you are but hi i love you and i'm sending you massive massive air hugs as always go smash your week ahead send me any dms you want i'm always there for advice always there to root for you i love rooting for you all because you guys all root for me and it's like we genuinely are a community and that is what i love as cringe as it sounds but anyways i hope you all have the best day i'm heading to my dad's to make bracelets for my little sister well i'm gonna go make food first because food is fuel I need to recharge refuel myself um, so I'm going to do that and then I'll go make bracelets. Um, I'm also manifesting Taylor Swift tickets. Please, somehow, God, let me and Morgan go to see Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. I'm not even a big concert person. I'm not, like, a die-hard Taylor Swift fan. But I just think it'd be really fun and I get FOMO. So I want to go. But anyways, love you all. Send your love. Send your ear hugs. Mwah! And I'll see you all in the next podcast episode. Love yous. Bye. Bye, driver. Okay, so that is me done recording. I do hope that, I don't know, I don't know if anyone even wants this, but it's out there. So I'm actually going to go. Also, look how cute this is. So one of my best friends, Casey's mum, made me this and it's actually adorable. It's like smelly Ellie. Love it. Anyways, I am going to go. I'm going to drink some juice. I'm going to go get some food and I'm going to go to my dad's. But I love you all. Bye.